This class is offered for Steve Kepler. The entrance in five. O oh Lord, hear my voice, for I call to you. Be my help. Do not abandon nor forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Let us take a moment of silence and ask God to forgive our sins so we can prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he came to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, After murdering, do you also take possession? For this the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up, lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, Have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered, because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight. I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your, your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and like that of Basha, son of Ahijah, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, the dogs shall devour Jezebel in the, des in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord as did Ahab, urged on by his wife, Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments, and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense, thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is always before me. 
Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Second Vincent Sylvia passed away three years ago, and she had four kids, two boys and two girls. And one of the boys was so crazy, more than me. He really was so crazy. And that was always my Aunt Cecilia headache. I mean, she suffered for him all the time. And we used to have beautiful conversation. And one time I had her Tia in Spanish and he stopped suffering. And she said, I can't. I cannot stop him loving him. And that means I suffer for him. So uh, she passed away. And I remember today what does it mean to be a children of a mom, of a father. And we can apply for us what does it mean to be a children of God, our father. You know, mom, fathers, family accept how we are. But there's something beautiful that my Aunt Cecilia was able to see that her, her son, Carlos, Charlie, has something good to do in the future. She hoped on him. And that was the Father also sees us, that we were created in his image. And we have something good. We have the seed to become saints. It's not beautiful. I love it. There is a small seed in my heart that the Father is able to see even with my sins, because we are sinners, you and I, or maybe even more, but we are sinners, but He's able to see that small seed that I can become a saint. This is the meaning of the children of God. And how the process starts? When we ask every single morning, be merciful, Lord, because I am a sinner. That process starts when we ask Him to purify my heart for everything. Even at this beautiful table of the altar, He accepts us and He, he fits us and He gives us more and more graces that we can continue working with the Holy Spirit in our sanctification. Today is a beautiful opportunity, it's a beautiful day, but it's a beautiful opportunity to show Him that we are His children. Amen.
Let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the Church, may God draw us closer to Himself, allowing our love for one another to help us grow in mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For world leaders, that Jesus is teaching in today's Gospel may transform how we see others, especially those with whom we disagree. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who are persecuted, may the Lord bring them reprieve and fortify their efforts in prayer and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For this faith community, may the God of love inspire us conversion of hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who have passed from life into death. May the Lord bring them into life eternal with him and the communion of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the coronavirus and their families, for all health care workers and first responders who minister to them, may they find hope and consolation in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, receive our petitions and grant them according to your holy will. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourish, nourish us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance that the sustenance they provide may not fill us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, 
so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 heaven and earth, the Son of God, the Son of comes in the name of the Lord, the Son of God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day of the liberty, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our faith, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Learn of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
communion antiphon. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. At this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, for shadows the union of the faithful and you, so may it it brings about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thank you. Amen.